today are we digitally ready? This is a question that teachers and learners are probably asking right now. With the advent of DepEd's Digital Rights Program, the Open Educational Resources or OER was woven together and finally realized. This project prioritizes the necessity to enhance the digital literacy skills of every teacher and learner in the country. Our OER mission is to connect the disconnected. OER is indeed an innovative initiative with a lofty aim to get disconnected schools and last my schools connected through ICT even without an internet connection. It is designed to cater to the need of these schools for interactivity, digitalization, and delivery of 21st century skills that will ensure that every learner is future ready. Join us in another training workshop and learn more about open educational resources, whose primary purpose is to provide support and assistance to learners and teachers in this rapid advancement of technology. Our goal is to build and strengthen the capabilities of public and private teachers, school heads, and supervisors by teaching you to create and design interactive, localized, and contextualized instructional materials for teaching using basic, advanced, and proficiency software and tools. Surely, this will be another exciting and engaging webinar training workshop. Together, let's all rise amidst this crisis. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, para sa guro. Sulong ito kalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon to all the learners, the watchers of the Itulay uh, online tutorial session for English 7. So today we're going to have a new lesson, a new session for our learning the English language. So let me just share my screen. So we now have it here. So again, let me welcome everyone to the Itulay online tutorial for English 7. Today, we're going to have the fourth quarter, that is week three, and our topic will be determining the worth of ideas mentioned in text Listen to. So before we start, let me just first thank Schools Division of Negros Oriental, that is Region 7, for allowing us to use their self-learning module for today's session. So I am your tutor, Drazel, and I will be here to guide you that is every Tuesday from 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. Discussing, of course, all the lessons in English 7. And, of course, this is open to all uh, learning, I mean, to all grade levels because definitely you'll be learning a lot also. So today we're going to have the following objectives for this session. First, of course, we're going to define active listening. Next, we're going to identify ways on how to effectively listen and use critical thinking in getting ideas in the text listened to. And the last one is to identify the worth of an idea in a text 
listened to. So before I begin with the pretest, let me just greet everybody who are staying and learning with me. First, we have Marangal National High School. We also have Kabuk Kabuk Kagayan National High School and Guagua Pampanga also the learners from Guagua Pampanga from Isabela from Mangahan High School and from Schools Division Office in Cagayan and Marangal National High School also. Thank you very much for staying with me. And definitely, I, I promise that you will also be learning this afternoon. So let us now begin with, of course, the very first thing is to have the pretest to check if you are already prepared for this afternoon's session. So please get ready with your pen and paper, or you can just type directly your answers on the comment section. So that would be easier for you. Just don't forget to write the number that you are answering before you proceed with writing the correct answer. So let us now begin with the pretest. We have uh, five items for this. Uh, particular activity. So this is the direction for the pretest. You're going to write true if the statement is showing how to get the worth of ideas in the text listened to, and you're going to write false if it's not. Okay, so just true or false. Don't forget the instruction. Again, I'm reminding everyone, please don't forget to write the number before you write the correct answer. Let us now begin with the five item pretest. Number one. Number one, make sound conclusions or generalizations based on text listened to. Is this a true or a false? So please write the correct answer on the comment section. Again, it's true or false only. Okay, now let me greet Lucrecia Moncada from Negros Oriental. Okay, while we're waiting for the others to answer, we also have Jerome Gumilan Alcover from Marangal National High School. So now we have answers here. Let us check if the answers of Romnick Manlulu, of Cedric Jade Camba, Kirby Gomez, and Kate Elise Espiritu is correct. They answered true. Let us check. Very good. That is true. So the answer of Francis Rubio and Mary Grace Capunay is correct. Let us now proceed with number two. Interpret data and form conclusions based on that data. What do you think is the correct answer for number two? Again, it's interpret data and form conclusions based on that data. So we now have, do we now have answers? Okay, the others are still typing. So we have an answer here from Luke Manosa, from Jill Mejorada also, and from Joshua Pashon. So let us check also Kathleen and Rolf and Vanna. Let us check if their answer is correct. Number two is also true. So Clarence and Anjo, you got the correct answer. Next, let's proceed with number three. Number three, only listen to the things that you want to hear. Again, only listen to the things that you want to hear. Is it true or false? Again, don't forget to write the number before you start writing the answer. So we now have an answer here from Joseph Bautista, from John Kiyoshi Layosa also, from Lazary, and from John Persia and Carol also. So let us check if their answer is correct. According to Jen Marie, it's a false. Very good. John Bert Berakit, your answer is correct. It's false. Next, number four. Be subjective when you listen to somebody. Again, be subjective when you listen to somebody. Is it true or false? So do we now have an answer? We have answers now here from Ruben Alagao, from Justin Idor, from Katleya Soriano also, from Sean Mayandok. Let us check if their answer is correct. Do we have to be subjective? 
The correct answer is no. That's false, of course. You don't have to be objective. I mean subjective. Okay, so John, uh, I mean, uh, how many got the correct answers? Let us check. Okay, so maybe some of you got confused with the word subjective and objective. Okay, that's the reason why you got the correct, the incorrect answer. But congratulations, Harvey and Cassandra, you got the correct answer. It's a false. Next, the last number for the pretest. Determine the presence of lack of logical relationships. Do we really have to do that? Is it true or false? Again, do we have to determine the presence of lack of logical relationships that is true or false? Please write the correct answer. We have answers from Jill, from uh, McRaden, from Michael also, from Raj. Let us check. Is it true or false? The correct answer is True. So the answer of Gail Pangantihan is correct. So very good, people. You have just answered all the pretest uh, items. So let us just check how many got five. <coughs> Excuse me. So how many got five? Please give a happy face if you got a five for the pretest. Let us check whether you are ready or not for the next or for our discussion today now look got a three and we're still waiting yes we now have happy faces from maria angela mendoza from rolfson one from seth also from uh bernadette pineda okay and regin also congratulations everyone for those who got a five that means you are very ready for today's discussion and those who got a four it's okay that is still, of course, understandable because, because this is a new lesson for all of you. So let us now proceed. First, let us try to think about this morning. I want you to uh, reminisce the memories of this morning. I'm going to ask a few questions. Now, what you have to do is just type your answers on the comment section so we can see uh, what are these memories about. Let us try to remember the following. First question, what was the first thing your parent, guardian, or sibling told you this morning? Okay, you may write it in Tagalog if that is the case. So what do you think is the first thing that your parent, guardian, or sibling told you this morning? The very, the very moment that you woke up this morning, what was it that was told to you? Okay, according to John Kiyoshi Layosa, it's good morning. Okay, so that's good. Kathleya Soriano also said good morning. Okay, what else? So according to JC, the very first thing that was mentioned to her, him was wake up. Okay, according to Francine, it's do you have class? According to Gail, may napulot kaming aso. Congratulations for getting that dog. And then, for Chris Burley, it's kain ka na. So, those are the things that you remember were mentioned to you or were told to you by either your parent, your guardian, or your sibling this morning. Let's now proceed with the second question. What was the first line of the song you listened to today? Okay, what was the first line of the song you listen to today. So please type in that first line on the comment section. So hi to Fiel Cabrera of 7 Apollo. That's Apalit High School. Happy watching. So we still have some answers here uh, from Angel Frugal. Although I don't really know what this means. It's Manang Biday Ilukat Muman. Okay. So that's the first song that you ever listen to this morning okay so from from john kiyoshi layosa i used to bite my tongue and hold my breath that's the song of roar and then we also have from francine it's so suddenly i'm in love with a stranger from rolf it's over now from francis rubio there was a man in russia long ago that's from rasputin by boney m 
Okay, so from Kate, it's yeah, life goes on. So very good for remembering all those first lines of the song. Let us now proceed with our third question. What was the most memorable line your teacher uttered this morning? Okay, what was the most memorable line your teacher uttered this morning? Okay, please type your answers. Was there a memorable line that your teacher mentioned to you this morning? Please type in your answers now. Uh, we still have some answers here from the songs, the first line of the songs. Okay, now according to Maria Angela Sam uh, Samantha, the most memorable line her teacher mentioned was, konting tiis na lang, matatapos din tayo. That's good because we are already in the fourth quarter. That's very, very true. Next, according to Kate, good morning, terrific taruk. Okay, that's also good. It's memorable. Next, uh, we also have from JV, do your activities in time. That's good. Next, um, we also have, uh, yes, from Sedi Francisco, four weeks na lang. Okay, so those things are very memorable because, of course, we're all excited to end the school year and move to the next school year. So very good people. Thank you very much for sharing your the things that are your memories of this morning. So now, what? why do we have to discuss all these questions? Because today, we're going to discuss or we're going to know more about listening. So, of course, you might be asking, why do we have to learn about listening, right? So, the very first thing that we have to take note of, of course, is the definition of listening. Listening is the ability to accurately receive and interpret the messages in the communication process. So, unlike hearing, hearing is a physiological process, meaning to say it's physical. You don't really have to think, just listen. Just, I mean, just hear the sounds and everything will come out naturally. But listening is on a different level because it's a cognitive process. Meaning to say, you really have to think, not just hear the sounds. You really have to think and try to decipher the messages that was given to or that were given to you. So an active listener not only pays attention but withholds judgment during the speaker's turn and re reflect also on what's being said. That's why it's, noted, it's known as a cognitive process, okay? So active listening, of course, is also a part of critical thinking because if you did not actively listen, you cannot critically Think, okay, you cannot evaluate, you cannot make judgment, you cannot analyze, you cannot critique if you did not listen well. So make sure that you really, really listen well before you can make judgment. Now, what are the keys to effective listening? Now, these are the things that I'm going to mention to you. So please take note of them because they're very important for you to effectively listen. Why do we have to effectively listen? Again, I, I mentioned this already <clears throat> and, and I'm going to repeat it again. So we have to listen well because we need to make judgment. We need to evaluate. We need to critically think so that everything that will come out of our mouth as our responses will always be given through effective listening. Okay? So let us now proceed with the keys. First, maintain eye contact with the speaker if possible. So eye contact with the speaker will also help you in knowing more or in understanding the facial expressions of the speaker. Of course, the facial expressions would also give us clues on the real message of the speaker. That would also be an effective tool in getting the meaning of the messages. Next, Pay attention and listen for ideas. Again, it did not say here for ideas, but listen. So that is a cognitive process. Next, 
find areas of interest. We, we know this as common grounds. So we have to take note what interests us the most with those messages that are mentioned to us. Next, you judge content, not the delivery. Because most of the time, we always focus on the delivery. How is he speaking? How is, how is he giving the facial expressions? Please do not focus on that. Always focus on the content because that is really the message of the speaker. Next, don't interrupt and be patient. This, of course, is to the speaker. Remember, please always respect the speaker so that when it's your time to speak, people will also respect you. Okay, another thing, we respect people, we don't interrupt, and we always have to be patient because that would also serve as a clue or as a, a hint for us to know the messages of whoever is talking. Next, Hold back your points or counterpoints. Like what is mentioned, we have to be patient. There will always be a time where we can ask questions. So you, you just have to hold back your views. Definitely, there will be a time given to you to ask questions. Next, you have to resist distractions. Even though it may be uh, noisy in your surroundings, always resist on that and focus on the message. Next, we have to pay attention to the facial expressions also and to the gestures of the speaker. But we have to couple this, we have to pair this with content. Keep your mind open and be flexible. When you listen, you have to make sure that you are also paying attention to the opinion of the speakers. Do not close your mind or do not just rely on your opinions. Remember, we can also learn a lot from other people. So we have to be very open-minded. Next, we have to ask questions during pauses. So this is already the time for us to give our viewpoints. And that is the time we can give feedback. Next, we listen with empathy to try and see the speaker's point of view. So again, we have to be open-minded. We have to trust also the speaker so that we can be able to be flexible in building our evaluations and our conclusions. And then the last, we have to anticipate, summarize, weigh the evidence, and look between the lines. So these are all critical thinking skills. So we have to be always ready for this, but we can only do this if we actively listen or effectively listen. So make sure that you take note of these keys so that you wouldn't have a problem with actively or effectively listening. Next, how do we connect? critical thinking in getting the worth of the ideas in the text listened to. So please listen to the next uh, to the next things that I'm going to discuss. What is critical thinking? Critical thinking occurs whenever people figure out what to believe or what to do and do so in a reasonable and reflective way. So the concepts and principles of critical thinking can be applied to any context or case, but only by reflecting upon the nature of that application. Critical thinking, again, may I repeat, is a higher order thinking skill. So critical thinking skills include observation, interpretation, analysis, inference, evaluation, explanation, and metacognition. So remember all those things. Now, if you are a critical thinker, you'll be able to do the following things. First, you're going to recognize problems and find workable solutions to those problems. Next, you're also going to understand the importance of prioritization in the hierarchy of problem-solving tasks. You can gather relevant information. You can read between the lines by recognizing what is not said or stated. You can also use the language clearly, efficiently, and with efficacy. And of course, you can also interpret data and form conclusions based on that data. But wait, there's still more. If you are critical thinkers, you may be able to determine the presence of lack of logical relationships. And you can make sound conclusions and or generalizations based on given data. 
You can test conclusions and generalizations. You can reconstruct one's patterns of beliefs on the basis of wider experience. And lastly, you can render accurate judgments about specific things and qualities in everyday life. So being a critical thinker is not just about the schooling or the academic things, but it's also about using it in everyday living, in making sound decisions. So don't ever forget that. Okay. So again, please do remember, critical thinkers must engage in highly effective listening to further their critical thinking skills. And people can use critical thinking skills to understand, interpret, and assess what they hear in order to formulate appropriate reactions or responses. So these skills would allow people to organize the information that they hear, understand its context or relevance, recognize unstated assumptions, make logical connections between ideas, determine the truth values, and draw conclusions. Now, all these skills are needed not just in school, but in your everyday living. So don't ever forget, be a critical thinker in our lives. Don't forget that. So now let us proceed with activity one. I hope everybody listened well with all those discussions about active listening or effective listening. So we may be able to determine the worth of a text that we have listened to. So for activity one, everybody please get ready now. So before we proceed with activity one, let me just greet everybody from Eustachio, uh, from Lalo National High School. From also from Angadanan West District, Isabella. So next, let's have activity one. The direction is, again, it's a true or false. So you're just going to mention T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. Still the same thing. You're just going to write the answer. Number first before the answer. So let us now begin with activity one. Number one. Test conclusions and generalizations. That's number one. Number two, only select the things you want to hear. Only select the things you want to hear. Number three, always consider your opinion whenever you interpret what you have listened to. Number four, read between the lines by recognizing what is not said or stated. And number five, gather relevant information. So we now have answers here for number one, and most of the answers are T. Let us check. Very good, boy, Mar Jimenez. You got the correct answer. It's letter T. Next, for number two, so we now have answers from JV, from Cedric, from Lance also. Let us check if their answer is correct. Very good. We have an answer here from Lazy Dupaya. It's an F. Very good. That's number two. Next, number three. The answer for number three, according to Jenna Mayustakio, is a T. Let us check if that is correct. No, I'm sorry, but it's an F. So we must... Um, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Number three is a T. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to edit that. That's a T. So the correct answer for number three, Wesley, you got the correct answer. That's also with Cassandra. It's a T. I'm sorry for that. Next, number four. For number four, we have the answers of McRaden. Um, Michaela also. So let us check if the correct answer of a uh, number four is a T. Kiana, you got it correctly. Vanna also and Ralph and John Kiyoshi. Next, number five is also a T. So Cedric Ramos got the correct answer. That's number Five. Very good. So now let us check before we proceed to activity two. Who got the correct answers? Who got five for activity one? Please give a heart for activity one. Okay. If you got a five. Okay. Let us check. 
while others are still commenting, let me greet Vince Luage, a GAS 12 student from Sarangani District. Okay, happy watching and happy learning. So do we now have hearts? Yes, we now have hearts from Chris Perley, from Gina Lynn, from Jenny May, from Wesley, from uh, Jessica also. So congratulations for getting a five for activity one. Let us now proceed with activity two. Okay, please get ready for activity two. Let us now proceed. So for activity two, this is what you're going to do. You're going to listen carefully to the text that I am going to um, read. And then you're going to determine the idea if it's worthy or not. Remember that you have to write W if it's a worthy idea. And then you're going to write NW if it's an unworthy idea. Again, I'm going to read the text first before I give the statements for you to finally conclude if it's a w or an nw or worthy or unworthy idea okay so let us now begin with the listening text for activity two i'm going to read it for you it is entitled seat belts click that's the sound of safety that's the sound of survival that's the sound of a seat belt locking in place seat belts save lives and that's a fact that's why i don't drive anywhere until mine is tight choosing to wear your seat belt is as simple as choosing between life and death which one do you choose Think about it. When you're driving in a car, you may be going 60 miles per hour or faster. That car is zipping down the road. Then somebody ahead of you locks up his or her brakes. Your driver doesn't have time to stop. The car that you are, you are in crashes. Your car was going 60 miles per hour. Now it has suddenly stopped. Your body, however, is still going 60 miles per hour. What's going to stop your body? Will it be the windshield or your seatbelt? Every time that you get into a car, you make that choice. I choose the seatbelt. Okay, so that would be our um, topic or our listening text for this afternoon. Now, let us proceed with the items. For activity two. Number one, think about it. What do you think is the correct answer for number one? Is it W or NW? Next, number two, choosing to wear your seatbelt is as simple as choosing between life and death. Again, choosing to wear your seatbelt is as simple as choosing between life and death. Number three, sit belts save lives and that's a fact. Sit belts save lives and that's a fact. Number four, that's the sound of survival. That's the sound of survival. And last number, that's why I don't drive anywhere until mine is tight. That's why I don't drive anywhere until mine is tight. What do you think is the correct answer for number one? Number one, let us check the answers here. Okay, we have number one, according to CJ, is worthy. Next, we also have answers here from the others. And others are saying it's worthy also. Others are saying NW. Let us check who among these answers are or these people are correct. It's NW. It's not worthy. Okay. Next, number two. The answer for number two. Okay, we now have answers here. So according to um let me check. Okay, we have answers here from Luke, from, from Isaiah, from Wenchi. According to Wenchi, it's a W. Let us check. 
if when she is correct very good when she getting got out it's correct it's a w next seat belt save lives and that's a fact according to roberto garcia it's a w is that correct let us check very good roberto that's w next according to cassandra fate number four it's nw let us check but according to others it's a w let us check it's nw so uh chris burley you got it correctly next number five number five according to cherwill it's nw okay let us check whether it's nw or a w okay number five is nw so juliana almasol you got it correctly also that's not worthy okay so let us now proceed with the scoring for this afternoon's activity two if you got a five please give me uh, a thumbs up react if you got a five please give a thumbs up react that is for activity two people okay so for activity two again if you got a five please give a thumbs up react so we now have a thumbs up from gian cooley from when she getting garao from john kiyoshi layosa also from sean mayandok from kiana from maria angela mendoza from pierre, pierre fermin also and from carol villarosa very good so if you got a five um in all the activities for this afternoon let us have activity one if you got a five activity two also if you got two fives for activity one and two please give me two heart reacts again if you got a five for activity one and another five for activity two please give two heart reacts okay so we now have two heart reacts from maria angela mendoza from pierre fermin from uh when she getting garao also from vince luage also those are two happy or i mean heart reacts from joshua passion from Ruben Santa Ines and from Alia Ordilio, Gian Cooley, Angel Frugal also, and the others also who I will not be mentioning anymore. But I will definitely congratulate all of you for getting a, for doing a good job this afternoon. So now let us proceed. Let us now reflect on the last slides of the presentation or of our tutorial session. First question. We started with questions, so let us now end our presentation with questions again. What was the most inspiring line you ever heard from your teacher? Again, what was the most inspiring line you ever heard from your teacher? So a while ago, I asked you about the most memorable line that your teacher mentioned this morning. Now, this one is different because this would be for your entire education or for your entire schooling years what do you think was the most inspiring line you ever heard from your teacher please jot it down on the comment section so let us check how did your teacher inspire you so this might be from from grade one to up to the present uh time that you are studying now According to Richelle Achenza, it's make your parents proud. Very good. That's really inspiring. Next, um, according to Kate, pag may gusto, may paraan, pag ayaw, may dahilan. That is very timely, Kate. Thank you for that. And then, according to Jill, it's kaya mo yan, anak. Laban lang. That's so good also. That's very positive. According to Vince Luage, Life is a matter of options. All you should do is to make a right choice. That's very, very inspiring also. And according to Faith, the hardest battles are given to the strongest warriors. That's very good, Faith. I hope that inspires you also. And according to um, Maria Angela Mendoza, naniniwala ako sa kakayahan mo, anak. That's, do That's also very good. Next, let's have the next one. What was the sweetest thing your parents or guardians have said to you? 
Okay, a while ago, it is for teachers. Now, this time, I want you to remember, let me check if you really listen to your parents or to your guardians. What was the sweetest thing that your parents or guardians have said to you? According to Cedric Jade Kamba, it's do something you know that will help you. That's very good and that's very sweet. According to Angel Frugal, it's I love you. Very good. And then, we also have um, uh, from Brianna May Klimako, kahit anong mangyari, andito lang kami. We're proud of you. That's very sweet, Brianna. And then we have Jomar Tagle, proud ako sa'yo palagi. That's very, very uh, sweet of your parents. Okay, congratulations for having parents like that. Or guardians too. So don't forget uh, for our listening lesson this uh, afternoon, According to Breen Brown, be as passionate about listening as you are about wanting to be heard. Okay, don't ever forget that. So again, that is uh, today is Choose English Day. So every Tuesday, if you want to learn more about the English language, kindly watch all the tutorial sessions from 1 o'clock to 4.20 p.m. That is for the English group. And you may always email EdTech if you have comments, suggestions, or e uh, you may email them. So up next, we have Tutor Ribelin for English 8. Thank you very much for staying with me. Thank you very much for learning with me for this afternoon. Stay safe. God bless everyone. Bye. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Itulay Free Online Tutorial Session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit Channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine Social Media Accounts. Paalam!